सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल ऑफ बी टेन एक्स एंड आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग रियली वेल सो इन द लास्ट सम वीडियोज वी लर्न दैट हाउ वी कैन इंटीग्रेट चार्ट जी बी टी विद पेगा और यू आई पात बट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न दैट हाउ वी कैन इंटीग्रेट चार्ट जी बी टी विद माइक्रोसॉफ्ट टीम्स यूजिंग पावर ऑटोमेट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो आई जस्ट वॉन्ट यू टू नो इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन लर्निंग ए आई टूल्स वी हैव एन ए आई टूल्स वर्कशॉप दैट इज जस्ट अवेलेबल फॉर नाइन रुपीज एंड मोर डिटेल्स आर अ हेड इन द वीडियो एंड द लिंक इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन यू कैन चेक दैट आउट एंड लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो नाइन रुपीज नाइन रुपीज कैन नॉट इवन बाय यू पैकेट ऑफ चिप्स बट वॉट इफ आई टेल यू नाइन रुपीज कैन सेव योर जॉब वॉट इफ आई टेल यू नाइन रुपीज कैन गेट यू सैलरी हाइक What if I tell you nine rupees can build your career in better way? Sounds too good to be true, right? So the first step is that we simply need to create a new team. So let's go in team and click on join and click on create new team and we'll put this team in private and call it Chat GPT. And obviously, if you don't have the right permissions to create a team chat, you will probably have to ask your admin to give you the proper permissions. And that was the easiest part. Next step. and the next step is we'll generate the api from chat gpt so we can connect later on the third step with our power ultimate the next step is that we need to create an open ai account so visit openai.com and click on api and then click on sign up and i'll create a new account once your account is created simply navigate to your name at the top right there and click on the view api keys and it will create a new secret key and copy that and keep this key for later we'll use it in the last step which is to configure our power atomic and so now we are at the interesting part that's where we'll create our power automate in the magic will happen that's that's the power to me that will query chat gpt and send back the inserted side of the microsoft teams so let's navigate to make that power platform.com But before doing that I just want to have a small talk with you. Nowadays you all might know that AI has taken over the world in just a short span of time and millions of people have lost their jobs and a lot of people have been laid off. But I believe that you don't want to get affected by this recession wave, right? Well, I can assure you that AI won't replace you, but the person using AI will surely. So if you want to save your job and become irreplaceable in your career, join our 3 hour AI tools workshop in which we'll teach you about the best AI tools to upskill yourself, increase your productivity and also enhance your career. Make your future secure with us. Join our workshop by clicking the link below in the description. And now let's continue the video ahead. Make sure that you have the proper environment selected and then click on flows. You will click on flow and it will create an automated structure for you. And now we need to configure the power automate. So on the cloud flow, we need to call it like a uh, chat GPT. We can say it and we'll use it as a trigger for a Microsoft team trigger in which will trigger when a keyword is mentioned in that case, it will be chat GPT. Click on create and we'll select the message type in that case, it will be in channel of the team we just created so click on channel and we'll ask our flow to trigger when ch when chat gpt inspection so as i have said at the beginning of this video there's some limitation that is always you need to use chat gpt to query chat gpt using this specific flow then from there we'll add the team we just created so our flow will only trigger for the specific team and this specific team and this specific team channel and then we'll want to retrieve the specific of the questions that we just asked in microsoft team so we want basically to get the details of this message that will trigger our flow so let's look at so let's look for teams connector and we'll use this to get message details action and we'll basically retrieve all the details of the message that triggered our power intimate so for the message we'll refer to the message id here and we'll open this get message the message type will be in channel again we'll select our team chat gpt specific channel which is in journal in case obviously you can create another channel if you want and finally we'll look for the parent message id which is reply to message id here okay and then we'll and then we'll that's where we'll query chat gpt so we'll be doing this using an http action and let's search for http go and we'll do a post so we'll basically post something to the api and i'll just quickly let uh, and i'll just quickly navigate back to the open ai website from and then we'll click on the documentation and if you scroll down you will see api reference making request and that's where you'll get all the details on how to make a request to chat gpt so in that case here's the model that we'll use to query so if you have this kind and if you have this content type then you need to pass in the authorization with the bearer and your api key and that we generate and in the prior and in the prior step that you'll need to use a query https request from the HT, uh, from the HTTP S request so the content type is application JSON so you can just copy paste or type it however you like so our URL is api.mnai.com our errors will be the content type and authorization so let's enter content type and authorization from there 
and you'll need your API key. So you need it to be a bearer space and then you'll copy your API key and now we'll need to enter the JSON with the body of our request key. So again, if you navigate to the API documentation and you go to the completion and create completions, you'll see this example of creating a completion for a provided prompt with the parameters in that case. We'll use this one. So simply you can copy paste it and then we'll change our prompter with the details of the message we just got in the prior step. So let's go to the body of our message details and finally we'll change them because this max token to at least 2000 because if we let it to 7, you won't be able to ask questions with uh, this 7 characters <coughs> with the 7 tokens like uh, and keep the temperature as it is and we are done with that part and for the last now and for the last part we will reply in Microsoft Teams so let's look for Microsoft Teams again and we'll reply in the channel reply with the message in the channel and we'll pass it as a flow but we'll channel the message ID will be the initial parent message from our initial message to trigger our flow so reply message ID again will select the team channel and the message will be the answer to our HTTPS request so if you select the world body of your HTTPT request, you will receive this answer which is not exactly what we want because it includes all the answer itself and that's a bit hard to digest. So only to extract the text answer, the text part of the API answer will create an expression and I'll add this expression in the video detail so you can just copy paste it. So it's body HTTP choices in text. So basically that's what we are going to do is we are extracting the text out of this body of HTTP request so we'll just click on OK and save and that is it we are done to ready and test it our flow and let's test this nearly and let's go in Microsoft TNC and test the power automate if it works and now we are in chat GPT in the journal channel now, now let's just query chat GPT and don't forget to start chat GPT and let's see what the answer is now you know how to read chat GPT from Microsoft Teams so you can give access to your colleagues and if you want you could just play around with chat GPT to just keep in mind different limitations I mentioned. That is it for this video so if you like the video don't forget to leave a like drop a comment if you have any doubts and also don't forget to subscribe beat NX and do remember we have an AI tools workshop that is just available for 9 rupees. Don't forget to check that out and see you in the next video until then bye bye.